Welcome back to Tech Learners. Let's see the another property of the relations. We will see non-transitive relation. In the last lesson, we have seen what we mean by non-transitive relation. So if you understood the definition of non-transitive relation, then it will be easier for you to understand what is a non-transitive relation. So let's define what is a non-transitive relation. Uh, let a relation R let a relation R defined on a set A defined on a set A such that for any three elements X, Y, Z that belongs to set A if X is related to Y and Y is also related to Z then X should not relate to Z. So, uh, we can see in the transitive relation, we had seen uh, when X is related to Y and Y is related to Z was implying that X is related to Z. But here, the condition is just opposite. So, if any case X is related to Y and Y is related to Z, which implies that X is not related to Z, then this relation will be known as non-transitive relation. So, let's say if there are three elements A, B and C and if we see that in the relation R, if A comma B exist and in the same relation R, B comma C exist but A comma C does not exist in R, then this relation will be called as non-transitive relation. Now, let's see with one example. So, let's see if there is a set A with elements 1, 2 and 3 and a relation R which is defined on this with elements 1, 2, 2, 3 and let's say 1, 1. Now, see, let's see whether this is a transitive relation or non-transitive relation. So, we'll pick first pair. This is 1, 2 and we will try to find out the primary condition for this. So, uh, we have to see 1, 2 and 2, 3. For this, in the relation, what we should have? We should have 1, 3. So, we can see 1, 3 which is actually not present in our relation. So, this condition violates which means the R is non-transitive relation. So, this is a non-transitive relation. We do not need to check the other ordered pair. Even if we get the single condition, which is uh, violating the transitivity, this means it will be a non-transitive relation. Let's see another example. Uh, this is A with elements again 1, 2 and 3. And let's see, we have a relation R with the uh, elements, let's say 1, 2 and 2, 3 and let's say 1, 3. So, what we will be checking for the transitivity, let's pick the first ordered pair which is 1, 2 and for 1, 2 we will have and 2, 3. Now, for this 1, 2 and 2, 3 what we should have in our relation, we should have 1, 3 which is there. So, this is the transitive condition. Now, uh, we will not have any other ordered pair in this. So, we will go with the second uh, ordered pair 2, 3 for which also we do not have any primary condition. So, we will go to the uh, third order pair that is uh, 1, 3 for which also we do not have any primary condition. So, in this we can see that all conditions are true. So, this becomes a transitive relation and hence uh, the condition is violating that this is non-transitive. So, we will say that this is a transitive relation which we have already studied. So, uh, we have seen all the primary uh, conditions or properties starting from the reflexive relation. We had seen what is the irreflexive relation. We had seen what is a non-reflexive relation. Then we had seen what is a symmetric relation. We have already seen what is a symmetric relation. And then we have already seen anti-symmetric relation as well. And we have seen transitive relations. So, these are all the properties or you can say the type of uh, the relations. And today we had seen what is the non 
transitive relations. In the next upcoming lectures, we will see another uh, types or properties of the relations. Let's say, for example, what is an equivalence relation or what is a partial order relation and we'll continue with this.